Welcome everyone. Today's topic is systematic approach to building an empire. I'm super excited to share all these secrets. Um, so let's start with the most important road trip that I'm gonna take you on. So <clears throat> when you're in real estate, you're gonna have only three exit strategies available to you. Number one, you're gonna do a wholesale. Okay, that's the quickest and easiest exit in real estate. The next one is going to be a fix and flip. And finally, is going to be a buy and hold. But guess what? Before you even think about doing any of those exit strategies, you've got to identify great hot markets where you can identify awesome deals. Not only that, but you need to be able to analyze them very quickly and take your next exit, which could be a wholesale, a flip, or a buy and hold. So let's just quickly go over what we're gonna cover today. So first of all, you're gonna identify hot markets. Then we're gonna access great deals, we're gonna analyze them in seconds, and boom, you're gonna take your first exit, wholesale. But guess what? When you do wholesales, you're still running on the treadmill. What that means is that if you stop doing wholesales, guess what's going to happen to your income? It's going to go down to zero, okay? So let's assume that uh, you decide to do a buy and hold. Well, you need to fund the property, meaning you need to buy it, and then you need to fix it, rehab it, before you can flip it. Again, if you do a successful flip, you're going to get, obviously, a big paycheck. But still, you're still running on the treadmill, which means that if you stop doing flips, guess, what's hap guess what happens to your income? It's going to go down to zero, okay? Finally, you have the buy and hold exit strategy. This is true power in real estate. When you own rentals, that's when you're leveraging from other people's money and other people's time. So you can relax while your tenants are gonna be running on the treadmill on your behalf. So you can be having a great time, but yet still have other people pay for your mortgage, okay? So that's what we're gonna be targeting today. So having said that, let's go on a road trip and I'm gonna tell you how we will automate all these steps for you to easily take any of these exit strategies but keep in mind that we're going to focus on the first three steps because that's where most investors make a mistake. They invest in the wrong areas. They don't find great deals and they don't know how to analyze the properties. So guess what happens? They don't have a great exit strategy. They might end up losing money. So we're going to make sure that we focus today on three things. Identify hot markets access great deals and analyze them in seconds. Because guess what? If you have a great deal with a lot of equity that can produce cash flow, do you think you can do a wholesale? Of course, yes. Do you think you can flip it? Of course. Buy and hold all day long. So we're going to focus on those three areas. Having said that, let's jump into Chicago Deal Vault. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go into area report. Ports. So we're going to be focusing on the bread and butter areas, which are B and C. So we categorize them, A being the most expensive, V being the most challenging areas. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to pull up all the B areas. Okay, we have analyzed over 300 areas. So right here, we're going to sort these by uh, area name. Okay, so we have Addison, Allship, Aurora, Bensonville, Berkeley. By the way, Allship and Berkeley rank among amongst the top two rental markets. Uh, Aurora, it's having a great gr uh, growth. Um, Bloomingdale, so we have Bolingbrook. Bolingbrook has about 32% uh, population growth. So these are all amazing areas in a B market. So we're just going to uh, pick a few of them. So let me just show you Bolingbrook. Let's just pick Bolingbrook for sakes. Why is Bolingbrook a great area? Okay, first of all, this is a B area. 
bread and butter. Not only that, but in Bolingbrook, uh, right now you have uh, Amazon coming into Bolingbrook. So employment is a great, great source um, of attraction for people to come into this area. Therefore, population growth in Bolingbrook is over 30%. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly analyze the area in a nutshell. Uh, so that's the geographic location. We're going to give you some factors that could potentially affect your property values that you need to be aware of, like highways. And right here, we're going to give you the livability score. So any area that has a livability score of 70 and above, it's a great area. Okay, so we're looking at B areas where, you know, amenities, crime is low, employment is good, um, everything, right? <clears throat> including all, all the infrastructure. So this area in here, we're gonna give you the details like the crime, the schools, um, household income, in this case is above the average. As I mentioned earlier, look at the population growth in Bolingbrook. it's over 30%, okay? Which is a great sign, people moving into the area because guess what's gonna happen to um, property values? They're gonna go up. If you're gonna, hold the rental guess what happens to the rents when people are moving into the area and demand is greater than supply rents are high but yet property prices are still under 200,000 for Bolingbrook so I'm going to scroll down and show you uh, this is another important uh, metric owner occupancy so here we have 76 percent owner occupancy Renter occupancy, it's only 16%. So the higher the owner occupancy, the better uh, the area. And also look at vacancy, it's only 6.26. So anything under 10%, it's a great area. Okay, therefore it's a B area. We recommend the cash flow approach. And then here we go into more details as to the strength of the area when it comes to uh, flips and rentals. Okay, so in this case, we're going to be focusing on single family homes, so meaning detached. We're going to be looking at the third column. So things that I look at if you want to do flips, uh, for instance, how long they stay in the market? About uh, a, little, a little bit less than two months, right? How quickly are properties moving into this area? 68 properties are being sold per month, okay? Uh, therefore, the total months of housing supply is only 2.2. What that means is that it will only take two months before all the inventory runs out, assuming that no new properties come into the market. Uh, therefore, look at these, 20 flips uh, for single family homes, and you should buy a property below 250,000 and obviously sell it above 257, okay? Now, why is this a strong rental market? Because look at the median rental income for a three bedroom home. It's about 1900 and it gets rented in about a month. So the vacancy is very low and yet rents are very, very strong. So therefore, uh, this is a great market. So this is the first thing that I mentioned we're gonna focus on, um, identifying hot market. So we identify a hot market in a B area, which is Bolingbrook, with a great population uh, growth over 30%. Rents are strong, close to 18, 1900 for a three bedroom single family home. They stay in the market for about 30 days. So, as you can see, we were able to systematically analyze and find great hot markets, okay, whether for a flip or for a rental. So Bolingbrook is strong for both, right? Because the months of housing supply is only two. So in two months, you'll run out of inventory, assuming no new properties come into the market. Now let's, the next step is finding great deals. So we're not gonna find, we're just gonna access great deals. We're gonna be focusing on off-market properties, which are technically not for sale, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to go now is I'm going to go on their pre-foreclosure. So these are people who have defaulted in the mortgage payment. Therefore, 
the bank has filed a lawsuit against them uh, in the court system and they are officially in pre-foreclosure. Okay, so what that means is if they do not come current with the loan, uh, they will eventually lose their property. Okay, so the judge is going to order uh, the auction of the property. So the foreclosure process in Illinois may take up to two years. So it's a pretty lengthy process. Okay, so the people that we're going to be targeting uh, right now, uh, they're still um, the owners of these homes. They're, they have not lost the property yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to filter these by Bolingbrook. Okay, let's find out how many foreclosures are in Bolingbrook as of right now. We found over 500. Uh, so what we're going to do is that's way too many, right? So we just went to find the home run deals, meaning we're going to find properties. I'm going to use this magic filter with over 50% equity. What that means is that the owner owes, let's say 50,000, but the property is worth at least a hundred thousand after all the repairs have been made. Okay. So now if I click on search is going to go down to 43 home brand deals friends in Bolingbrook. I mean, that is just mind blowing. Uh, but keep in mind, these people have just entered the pre foreclosure process. So if we want to get a property on the contract, uh, we need to reach out to the owner directly. But keep in mind, they might be still in denial which means that they still believe they might be able to get out of the foreclosure process, which over 90% of the times they will not, okay? So what I'm going to do is I would just randomly pick a property, okay? Single family home. So now, um, why is this a great deal? Let's, let's find out more information about this property. Uh, so they owe about 118,000, but yet the property could be worth over 250,000. But I see a couple of liens at the bottom. So one of them is by the IRS uh, for 31,000. Whoa, there's another one for 60,000. Uh, so if you add those two together, it's a combined total of uh, over 120,000 plus 120. Uh, this is not a good deal, okay, because it, it's got a lot of liens. So we're going to pick another one. So you, that's something that you need to keep in mind. Uh, we need to look at the liens because uh, like this property, it doesn't have any liens. When you buy a property directly from the owner, you've got to satisfy all the outstanding liens, okay? So in this case, let's look at this uh, property. It's a four bedroom, one and a half bath, about 1,500 square feet in Bolingbrook. The owner owes 80,000 on the property, but this property could be worth, a hundred and I would say 185,000, so about, uh, 100,000 in equity. These are the type of deals that we need to focus on. So the next ex step we're gonna look at is location, right? Making sure that it's not in a busy street near a river, train tracks, airports, cemeteries, factors that are gonna affect the property value, marketability of the property. Okay, so, so far it looks pretty good. So I like to toggle back between the street view and the map view just to make sure that, uh, you know, everything looks good. So it's not in a busy street, the, the, the street, the neighborhood looks decent. Okay. So now what we've done friends is we just cover the second step. We access 43 awesome deals in Bolingbrook, right? So people wonder, well, where am I going to find these awesome deals? Look no further. Here we have them all in Chicago deal vault on their off market menu. We have pre foreclosures, we have upcoming auctions, uh, we have banked on properties or REOs, and we have vacant properties. And a, a lead pipe that is so important probably right? People die, you'll never run out of leads. Uh, it's fortunate, but at the same time, it's the law of life, right? Um, so so far, we found we access 43 deals, right? So we've knocked down two of the main obstacles that most investors have. They don't know where to invest and they cannot find a great deal. Well, friends, in the last 10 minutes, 
we found a great market and we found 43 awesome deals. And now analyze the deals. Friends, let me give you a tip of advice. You've got to analyze a property in no more than 30 seconds. If you think you're taking over a minute, you're doing something not right, okay? So what do we mean that, um, that we're gonna be able to analyze a property in 30 seconds? You heard me right. You need to know three things. You need to know the ARV, which we're gonna give it to you. You need to know an approximate rehab amount. Um, so uh, the second thing that you need to know is how much you're gonna offer for the property, okay? So these are the three key numbers that you need to know. Uh, how much the property is gonna be worth once you make the repairs, how much are you going to spend on the repairs? But keep in mind, you always need to see the property from the inside. And this is with the assumption that the rehab is going to be light to medium, which means you're just going to be doing painting, updating the kitchens, bathrooms, flooring, life fixtures, and that's pretty much it. You will not put a new roof, replace all the windows, redo all the electric, redo all the plumbing, put a new uh, mechanical system, HVAC, uh, you will not touch foundation. And most importantly, this is a key number. How much are you going to pay for the property? And that's going to be driven, that's going to be driven um, based on your exit strategy, whether you do a flip, a rental, or a wholesale. As you can see, the rental is the most forgiving one, okay? So these are the three numbers that you need to know when you analyze a property. As you can see, we give them all to you. So you don't need to think, work, create, or do nothing. We show them right in front of you. Therefore, you shouldn't take more than a minute to analyze a property to see if it makes sense, right? So in this case, why does it make sense? Because the owner owes 80,000 plus fees and penalties add at 10%, so 88,000, right? And here, we could do a wholesale, a flip, a rental, when we're able to pay less than 90000 on this property, assuming we're going to be investing between twenty five to 40000 uh, on the rehab. But obviously, you need to get in touch with the owner um, and see the property from the inside. Whoa, did you see what I just did? I just clicked on the owner's name and boom. We're going to give you their contact information, email, phone number, landline, mobile, so that you can connect with the owner directly. And this is how the conversation goes. Oh, Adam, I'm a real estate investor uh, currently investing in Bolingbrook. And I just realized that your property uh, is in uh, NOD status. Were you aware of that? They're going to say NOD status. What's that? NOD stands for notice of default, meaning pre-foreclosure. So you're gonna tell them, hey, Adam, you know, just realize uh, your property is in pre-foreclosure. Were you aware of it? You know, being very casual. And as I told you earlier, they might be in denial, right? And they say, oh, no, 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 everything is fine. And they may hang up on you. But there are some who might admit that they are in trouble and you're just somebody who, um, they can trust to help them make their foreclosure process go away. How? By you purchasing the property from them and making them a fair offer that not only are they gonna be able to satisfy the creditors, but they will also be able to uh, move on with their lives. Let's say you help them with a relocation package so they can settle somewhere else. Uh, down payment for, um, another place, so it could be a security deposit, moving expenses, storage, and so forth. Um, but uh, obviously that is beyond uh, the scope of this webinar. I just wanna make sure that um, you are able to identify a great market, access great deals and analyze them in seconds. And then uh, obviously secure the deal by getting the property on the contract. Um, so you are gonna be making money in real estate, not when you fix or when you rent the property, you're gonna be making money when you buy the property. Why? Because you're gonna buy this property with equity, as is, okay? 
uh, that is the power. And we give you the contact information of the owner so that you can reach out to them and make them an offer right here. Make offer gives you the ability to get them to sign this two page, non-invasive, non-intrusive contract. Very, very simple. We know that we shouldn't offer more than 89,000 on this deal. So it is right there. You don't need to create, think, or work. We give it to you. 